Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 25 projects coming out to you, five a week for five weeks. We're in the final week. We're on project number 21. Where has time gone? It's flown. I have got a cute little treat for you today. Now, I have had these chocolate foil balls and yes, I'm still working on them, still making my way through them. These things last forever. And I kind of thought we don't use our little three by three acetate card boxes very much. I'm not sure about you. Three by three cards is not something I make hugely often. So I decided I was going to turn them into a nice little extra gift. These would be a good stocking stuffer, teacher gift, nice treat for small people to give to their school friends. Could be a craft fair project if you're um able to attend live craft fairs this year maybe you're doing a virtual one if you're doing a virtual craft fair let me know i have been hearing some of my um team and some of my lovely customers have been telling me that they've been taking part in them i haven't actually heard how they turned out so anyway so i've just folded that all together and i'm going to put these in so these are just standard size chocolate foil balls. They, um, I don't know whether it's multiple manufacturers who make them or just, you know, one. I don't know. But they're pretty standard in size. And I managed to fit 16 in. It's a bit like playing Connect 4, really, here, isn't it? Oh, look, that's going to move now. There we go fourth one in so yeah I fitted 16 in I thought that was pretty cool that's quite a generous gift for a small person um or a small person to give to another small person um Oliver's my last one who's in primary school now the rest are all at secondary school okay and so yeah I wrapped it now I had hoped I'd I'd be able to get silver balls I still haven't been able to get them just yet um, or certainly not at the point of time in filming, but you know, that's okay. I don't mind red with blue. And this is the Snowflake Splendor paper. I've measured mine at two and a half inches by nine and a half. What is that in metric? Um, that's six and a half by about 23 centimeters. But basically these boxes are three and an eighth by three and an H, which, and an H? Three and an eighth and three and an H. Don't know what that measurement is. So it's a bit more than seven and a half by seven and a half. And obviously there's this depth here but I just wanted to make sure that my paper would wrap. And and yeah, you literally just wrap it round it. And I'm gently pinching on the creases. I don't want scored lines. I just, look, <laughs> I don't want scored lines. I just want nice, rounded, smoothed creases like that. That's fine for me. It doesn't need to be you know super scored perfect you know doesn't need to be like that so a bit of seal plus on there make sure it lines up and that's wrapped so oh so that's wrapped so it's my project today is about the stamping and the die cutting and i've got that's a strange scrap that i've got but i have got the freezing fun and freezing fen f the I really can't speak today. Freezing fun. Oh, <laughs> freezing fun and freezing friends dies. That was hard work, wasn't it? So, what did I use last time? I used um the bunny. I might go for the raccoon this time, or should I? Oh, I don't know. I think I will go for the raccoon. I don't know what colour a raccoon is meant to be. I'm going to go with the penguin. <laughs> and I'm going to go for a big tree in the background. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what colour. What colour is a raccoon? Are they black and white or are they brown and white? I don't know. Okay. So. Get these on. He's so much fun though, isn't he? That penguin so i'm going to use memento because i am going to use blends i'm not doing blends work i'm going to use them for um smooth coloring in but i'm going to stamp and die cut first before i spend time coloring let's just hack all of that out of the way so 
So I've got my two base plates, then I've got a clear plate, then my die, uh, then my stamped images, and then I'm going to get the dies out. There's the penguin, and that's the big tree. Post-it notes at the ready. Sticking to my fingers, I've just put hand cream on. I find when I've worked with paper for quite a long time, my hands get very dry. Um, so I have lots of hand creams all over my office. And I've just put some on and it's now everything sticking to me. Helps if you put your dye the right way up. There we go. So I'm going to cut those out and die cut afterwards. Has anybody ever done that? You've spent ages colouring something beautifully and then you've die cut it and somewhere between, you know, the first crank of the, the handle and you taking it out, your die has jumped. I think we've all done that, haven't we? So I'm going to pop these away. You've heard me say it, don't put it down, put it away. It's nothing worse than lost dyes though. Right, so I'm going to scooch those out of the way. I haven't, because I didn't know what, which image I was going to, whoops going to go with I haven't got my blends out but I am going to use them literally just for colouring in purposes um, so I'm going to dark shaded spruce for my tree and I've spoken about this before but you might not have caught that video you remember when you were in school and you did colouring in with a regular colour pen Beryl markers were you know my pen of the 80s and you did beautiful colouring in, and when you went back to it, it had dried in streaky lines. These don't do that because they are alcohol markers. They kind of settle into, they're almost, I, I sort of describe them as self-leveling, which is why they blend. And you don't get those streaky marks. Love it. Right, what colour are we going to go with a penguin? The colour is a penguin, is no pink. See, yellow. Mine is. Um. Oh, that's interesting. I'm missing my dark basic black marker blend. Who? Which one of my small people has stolen that? That's okay. We'll go with this one. This is the light. I'm totally relying on memory of what a penguin looks like. You think you know what an, an animal looks like and then you you have nothing, no picture references. You're like, oh, I don't remember. Do they have black faces as well? I might have to Google while I'm doing this. I'm fairly sure he's going to have orange feet. Oh, shall, shall I ask what's the face over the... Shall I, Alexa, what colour is a penguin's face? According to an Alexa answer contributor, colour varies by species and includes brown, reddish brown, golden brown, red and medium. <laughs> Does that answer your question? I don't know if you heard that, but she gave me about eight answers. That's totally the wrong colour, orange. Oh, whatever. And she's still talking to me. I'm just going to Google it, because I will just get this wrong. Penguin. Images. That does not help. Yeah, she she did say black or orange or brown. <laughs> I've no idea. I'm going to give him a blue scarf and blue hat, though. Um, 
because I've got Snowflake Splendor. I'm really sorry if anybody else has got an Amazon Echo and I've just asked the question and all of yours have started answering. <laughs> Didn't think of that as I said it. <laughs> I'm going to hazard a guess. He's got a little white face and maybe that little curl there is black. And I'm just going to, because I've put my black pen all the way over there, I'm just going to get a stamp and write marker that is running out. That's fine. That'll do. Right. Okay, let's create my scene. So. Looks like he's having fun that's all good right what are my phrases life's better when we're having fun together sending warmth your way wee and tis the season to be freezing oh, i don't know i think i'll go with the one i used before tis the season to be freezing that's just cute okay so i want to use my uh, banners pick a punch so i'm just quickly measuring this up in the bottom left oh i've got to zoom out I'm just measuring my stamp down in my bottom in the bottom left hand corner here and it's three quarters of an inch wide um, so I'm just going to trim off a little I'm going to trim off at three quarters of an inch so that's a shade under two two centimeters stamp on my block my and I'm going to go to the far left because I'm going to then cut off after just eyeballing it and then I'm going to have fun games because I want to get this into here and it's tiny so I want one of my long thin post-it notes just to keep hold of it feed that through push it through some more oh it's not going to play now And make that line up it's when you're doing this with short pieces of paper that you struggle so I find the post-it note trick really helps and that's left me with a great banner and no space to put any rhinestones on we'll not put rhinestones on this one I did on my first one it's those lovely frosty blue ones but I haven't got room that's okay they didn't have to be identical. But they're cute, aren't they? How sweet. I love them. I love the stamp set. It's really lovely. And as I was as I said, you don't get streaks when you use alcohol markers because they just settle to the the perfect sort of level area, I guess. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.